Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Humans, And I'm Katrina Walcott, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. This week, the St. Mary's School Board approved the purchase of equipment capable of facial recognition scanning. The $4,900 state grant will allow them to purchase a mobile weapon scanning kit that can be used to identify concealed weapons using only an iPhone, iPad, and a tripod. Charles Eibel, school safety coordinator, said, instead of a standard metal detector, you're able to hold up the iPhone or iPad, and it has facial recognition software we can download. He said, if a suspended student comes on campus, for example, the device should recognize that he or she should not be on school grounds. The scanner doesn't have to happen face-to-face -face like a metal detector wand. It can happen from a distance. Eibel says the products are new and the school safety department staff are still learning about it. St. Mary's Youth Soccer members attended the County Commissioner's Public Forum last Tuesday to push for the installment of turf fields in the county parks. The county allotted $3.1 million in funding for turf fields in the 2020 budget, which is not yet approved. The soccer league was forced to cancel practices that Tuesday evening due to Monday night rainfall. Mark Pinkle, a soccer league coach, told the commissioners, that's why the fields being proposed now are so vitally important to our community. Mark Pinkle had brought it up before at other public forums to have more turf fields at county parks. The St. Mary's School Board this week restructured the 2019-2020 school calendar after a new state law loosened timeline regulations across the state. Senate Bill 128 returns control of school calendars back to local boards of education, essentially undoing Governor Larry Hogan's 2016 executive order, which called for all Maryland public schools to start after Labor Day and to end June 15th. Maryland lawmakers overturned Hogan's veto of the bill at the end of March, and St. Mary's County Public Schools Calendar Committee gathered at the school board building in Leonardtown on Monday to make adjustments. The school system's chief strategic officer said to the school board on Wednesday, We went back to look at specific days that we received feedback from staff, from community, from our survey we did in the fall, from you all as well. A few decisions were unanimous among the calendar committee to have revisions to next year's school calendar. The in-county girls lacrosse rivalry between Great Mills and Leonardtown was anything but close this year. Leading by 10 points in the first half, the Raiders beat the Hornets on their own home grass on Wednesday night with an 18-5 game. Senior midfielder Katie Carolla scored all three of her goals in the first half, said, It felt really good to win today. We had an unfortunate loss to, against McDonough, so it's good to rebound with games like this and build our confidence back up. The Raiders are now at 3-1 in the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference. Watching Great Mills and McDonough battle it out in the smack softball game Wednesday night at Great Mills High School would seem that one-to-one -one tie would extend into extra innings. It was anything but that when the Hornets scored four runs in the bottom of the sixth and defeated the Rams 5-1. Great Mills senior shortstop Savannah Jaber said, I think we worked really hard over the season and we were due. This is my last year and this is the first time that we've beat McDonough in four years. The Great Mills softball team is now 2-6 overall, while McDonough's softball team is now 0-6. On a sunny and warm spring Tuesday, four SMAC teams competed at Patuxent High School in hopes of sweeping the competition. The St. Charles Spartans did just that, taking the event for both the boys and the girls. St. Charles head coach Chris McAllister said, This team exceeds my expectations every time they step onto the track. The St. Charles girls topped the hosting Patuxent Panthers 68-51, defeated Lackey 74-39, and edged out Great Mills 67-65. The St. Charles boys came out on top over Patuxent 104-33, Lackey 76-57, and Great Mills 74-62. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Katrina Walcott. And I'm Jessica Eumanns. Signing, Signing off. off.